Okay, okay. So once you get registered for my IT lab, you're going to complete most of the work for this class in my IT lab. So I wanted to kind of walk you through um, and get you started. I know we're using my courses is probably a little bit new to you and my IT lab will be too. So I just want to take this chance to, to walk you through <clears throat> uh, the best way to navigate. So once you're registered, you'll go to my IT lab and sign in. And there's going to be a link on the course homepage, a direct link to my IT lab, or you can bookmark that. Once you're on the site, you'll click sign in and you'll click Microsoft Office 2013. Okay. You'll be asked to sign in. I'm already signed in, so it just let me in. Um, but once you do, you're going to see the course listed. We're in section 156. This should be the only thing you see unless you're taking another course um, that's using the My um, Writing Lab or something similar to that. So click on our course, section 156 for CGS 1100 and the course will load. Now mine's going to look a little bit different because I'm an instructor in the course, um, but when you come in you'll notice a little welcome message. The easiest way I have found for students to navigate my IT lab each week is to simply click on the assignment calendar on the left hand side of the course. And again, mine's going to look a little different because I'm an instructor, but don't let that worry you. You should have an option for assignment calendar and that will open up the month, the current month. And you can see that our first set of assignments are due on October 22nd. So click on that date and over to the right hand side of your screen pops up all the assignments due on that day. Don't let this list scare you. Some of it's optional and some of it's read. Um, so for example, this is a page that you need to read. It says not viewed. Once you do view it, it'll, it'll change. So if I click on this link, it's going to open that up and then I can click back and return. And now notice it says viewed. Here's an activity. Notice I haven't started this activity, so this is not completed. This is actually one due for a grade, so make sure to do this one. When you click on it, and it takes a minute. Now I will say, and this has caused some issues in the past for some students, it opens up in a brand new window. Let me shrink this down so you can actually see it it opens up in a new window. If you have a pop-up blocker enabled on your computer, you may get a warning when this first tries to open. Make sure if it doesn't open for you the first try that you look and it'll depend on which pop-up blocker you have enabled and, oops, sorry, and which browser you're using. But usually it's up here at the top. You'll get a little yellow bar or something over here to the right hand side that says a pop-up has been blocked. If you see that, go ahead and allow that pop-up and then click on that uh, activity again and that should open the window for you. If it doesn't, um, make sure to let me know. So notice now that I've clicked on that it says in progress. Once I submit it, it'll actually say I've submitted the project. So that kind of helps you keep up with what you've done and what you haven't as you go through the course. So these are all the assignments again due on 1022. This is the easiest way to look at a list of things that you have for that mod for that week. So make sure to go down this list before 1022, get everything completed. Okay. Once you're done, and if you want to, and we can't, after this first set of assignments, I'll open the rest of the course and you can work ahead if you'd like. But if we go, um, and you won't be able to see this now because again, I'm the instructor, I have special access. But for example, you'd go here to uh, November 5th, click on that date. Um, and there are actually nothing due today, so I'll have to fix that. But that's the easiest way. Use this assignment calendar to navigate the course, click on things that are due, and then view the assignments on the right-hand side. This gives you a great list of assignments without having to navigate too much, and you can see that I have completed this, I'm in progress on this, and I haven't started this yet. So it kind of helps you keep track of your progress. If you have any questions, let me know.